Hello again. Now, the rise in popularity of male grooming has been well documented over the last few years, but how far are men in Northern Ireland prepared to go? Well, we sent Mark Mallet along to prove it's not just about moisturisers and scented candles. <laughs> the most romantic day of the year is just a heartbeat away, but what if you plan to buy the love of your life? For women, you could buy roses, chocolates, perfume, but what about us men? How about a bit of male grooming? Man grooming for men in Lisburn is the newest kid on the block and we went along to find out what's on offer for the metrosexual male. Us men in Northern Ireland have been somewhat conservative when it comes to openly talking about our male grooming techniques. But come on, be honest, we all at some stage stand in front of the mirror to admire that hunk of masculinity before us and to try and make him look his best. More and more grooming salons are opening across Northern Ireland, making it easier for us men to spend even more time in front of the mirror than the lovely ladies. Well, the first thing we're going to do is just apply the hot towel. Nice and hot. We're just going to massage this gently. This will open all of the pores, soften the bristle. Now we're going to apply the cream and the oil-based solution. It contains tea tree and other essential oils. Perfect for sensitive skin. Again, this will just go straight into those pores and into the bristles, soften everything up and just let the razor glide over your face. What we're going to do is just take the cutthroat razor and it will feel very gentle. We're just going to slide with the grain, always with the grain. It's excellent for your skin. It's far superior to your, your ordinary razors in that the cutthroat razor, by its very nature, is quite unforgiving. So your skin gets an exfoliation that most people can only wish for. And you should feel it feels super smooth against the skin. But do we guys really inspire to follow in the footsteps of the likes of David Beckham and Brad Pitt? And just as importantly, do Northern Ireland women like their men smooth and clean cut? Or do they prefer a bit of rough and ready? Better a man looks after himself than a man who looks... It doesn't really take any care, <laughs> you know. <laughs> would you not consider facials and moisturising? No, I would not. not. To be quite honest, I think that's a bit too. I don't think so. My mum owns a beauty salon. I think facials and nikers and stuff are really good. Well, if the ladies can do it, why can't the men do it? Sort of She's got men that are cracks with yours in a way, like a bit of waxing and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> she has. Tanya don't she's turned me into a big Jezebel. <laughs> The majority of male grooming parlours will specialise in everything from manicures to massages and from waxing to reflexology. The ideal something for your man this Valentine's Day. Well, we've lots of different things available um, for this very romantic season. We have a nice package called the Cupid and we've also a package called the King of Hearts. Uh, the King of Hearts is really a top to toe, um, a deluxe hot towel shave, a sports massage, a facial. So it encompasses quite a lot of the new things out for male grooming at the moment. And what about your man? What's he getting for Valentine's Day? Oh, he's definitely getting the King of Hearts. Oh, Frank, you really don't know what you're missing out on. Ladies, if you think your man is a bit rough around the edges, then maybe Valentine's Day is the chance to book him in for some serious male grooming. Mark Mallet, UTV Life, Lisburn. Fed up Mark. pampering you, honestly. I'm not missing anything. For <laughs> <it>. <laughs> Thanks very much indeed. <laughs> Talking of romance, we'll be announcing the final three in our most romantic man competition.